done. Yo, you know what would be funny? If you had an actual original idea that people enjoyed? No, you know that like, Animaniacs, Yakko names all the nations of the world thing? Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, well, what if we did that, but like... Furry? Atris, just doing something somebody already did and throwing furry trash on top isn't like, original. Yeah, name me one. Alright, I guess you're right. But mine will be better. Kinda sounds like a lot of work. Nah, it'll be easy. So with the original concept of this song, it was supposed to be about different cons of the world. However, the names weren't very... syllabically diverse. And Furcon and Furcon and Furcon and Furcon. I tried to do a fur from each country, but I also ran into so many roadblocks. Like, find me a furry from Algeria or Pakistan. If there are furries from Algeria or Pakistan, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find you when I was looking. So what I ended up landing on was the original concept of just my furry friends. That wasn't going to work. But maybe if I included my patrons. Hmm, if I only had more patrons. So the final concept was just to use as many furs that would fit the song and best fit the syllables. After an arduous task of listening to the original on 0.25 speed and measuring every individual syllable, I had this map now. Well, that was tough, but it should only get easier from here, right? Now I needed to fit each name onto the map syllable by syllable, and at first I attempted to go line by line, slowly filling the blanks, and that wasn't working because in the Otter household, we don't half-ass things, we whole-ass them. And because of the diversity of syllables, it would have ended up with a lot more ands in the song. So I just compiled a fatty list of furs until I had enough to fill the chart. I used my friends, my patrons, some of my followers, and then... Oh crap. Wait. I still need like a hundred names. Hmm. Where can I find a big list of fursuiters that maybe I forgot? Of course, a repertoire of furries with picks that I can pull to add to the video. I'll just scroll through here and... There. My long list of furries. As I was entering them into the syllable map, the further I went, I started to notice funny little coincidences in the names, and little jokes I could include. So the first draft became the second, became the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, until eventually I was happy, if not just fed up with working on it. Next was just... It took me way too long to get all the pictures together. Not because it was particularly hard, but it was just so tedious and frustrating that I often gave up. For like, a week. And one thing that kept making it harder was that like 10 furs all at different times, like changed sonas, became trans, got a different suit, were cancelled, etc. It became like an ever-shifting puzzle. So I knew I'd better get it out ASAP, just in case everybody gets cancelled. So I put the pedal to the metal and I started recording. And then, honestly, editing was the easy part. I had all the names, I had all the pictures and the recordings. It was just a matter of Lego building them into place. And once it was done... <sighs> Finally, I'm done. 
I can't thank you all enough for the huge positive response to all the hard work I put into this stupid little idea. It went from a little joke to a full-fledged project. A lot of things changed along the way. For example, I wanted a green screen projector screen, but there was an ordering mishap, which is too long to explain. I wanted to do the dance and the video mirrored to a T, but it became increasingly difficult to do alone. But ultimately it ended up in a position I liked, and weirdly, I ended up unknowingly posting it on the same day of the Animaniacs anniversary. Can anybody say serendipity? The most important thing is that you guys liked it. And that's the thing that makes me the happiest, is that my stupid little two minute meme made some people smile. And at the end of the day, that's really all I'm here to do. So thank you all, passing 2k, 3k, and now 4k, and on and on, it's so exciting for me. Not because I want fame or clout or fortune from YouTube, but because this little creative outlet for me is having a positive impact on others. So from the bottom of my heart, remember to smash that like button, ring that bell, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.